Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, I made it to Front Royal. Praise the Lord. I've been catching some of your guys' comments. Y'all have been so sweet. Um, everything went well. I made it. And Cat's out of the bag. I actually came here with my friend Jess from Roots and Refuge. So she picked me up from the airport. Um, I'm staying with her and Murray McMurray this weekend. We actually just ran and grabbed coffee and now she is headed in the store to grab some stuff before we actually head to the conference but i am just so thankful to be here um even just last night having conversation with like-minded people it feels so good and i know this was a last minute trip i wasn't expecting to take but i can already tell that it is going to just bless my soul so much and just really bring my spirits up a lot so i'm looking forward to meeting so many of you guys um but let's head to hoa <laughs> all right we've officially made it in i am trying to help her beeline to her tent and yeah. i'm gonna go meander and meet some people how you feeling i feel great i'm so excited yeah i've got a little bit this. of anxious energy <laughs> yeah but other than that i feel it's we're good. caffeinated yeah we, so we feel good too. there <laughs> all right guys i found some of my favorite people jeremy and mandy sky bentley y'all want to say hi <laughs> so I actually put Jeremy to work this morning. Our newsletter goes out uh, this past weekend for our new t-shirts, which we're really excited about. So you were like snapping photos. We're like sitting here changing clothes in the middle of. So uh, I'm realizing I'm really bad at this, even though it's what I do. It's good with me and the camera at home. I'll say it's different than it's here. Different. Like this is a whole ordeal. Yeah. Like, so when did y'all get in? We got in yesterday and set up the camper with all the dogs and everybody and did the bird come the bird came Jeffrey, uh, <laughs> the bird came. he may come here tomorrow we'll see we'll see if jeffrey comes tomorrow. so what are you most excited about this weekend all the speaking i'm yeah. excited to hear toots and co yes yeah and all the clean yeah stuff that she's going to talk about and then there was an herbalist too oh that's fun so, yeah. well i'm so glad i, I finally got to the guild tonight it was like the highlight of my trip when i saw you guys i was like yes finally my people <laughs> All right, well, thanks for letting me interview you. Yeah. All right, everybody, I found my people, Rachel and Aaron at Four Kids at a Farm. We love you guys. And I'm trying to think of when we met you for the first time. Here last year? Yeah, it was actually. Yeah, and yeah. now, they have become some of our really good friends. We absolutely love what, we're, what they are doing. So y'all are in California. Mm -hmm, California. Y'all are actually running media at HOA this yeah. weekend. How are you feeling about that? Um, well, I lost my voice, <laughs> so it's kind of hard. Be patient with us. That's why I bought a mic for the GoPro. Yep, mics are awesome. Yeah, so tell them a little bit about what you do and where they can find you. <laughs> so we're four kids in a farm, and I kind of do the Instagram, and we have a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. We have five acres and four kids. We're working on raising all of our own meat, and this year we started a flower farm, which is doing phenomenal. Yeah, y'all are killing We have it. like a local market that we sell to, so yeah. it's super fun. And you're doing flower subscriptions, which I find very interesting. We don't have a market for that in Arkansas at all. And is that going well? It's going slow, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. But yeah, we do have customers, and so it's really cool. Yeah, so what all flowers are you growing? Or what are, what's your best sellers, I guess? Sunflowers. Sunflowers, okay. And yeah. thankfully you live in a climate where you can grow those quite often. Totally. Yeah, so yep. what are, are you growing the pro cuts? Yep, pro yeah. cuts. So we do, we actually have our last succession of uh, reds. Oh, so, nice. So yeah, it'll be fun, fall color. All right, well I'm gonna put their stuff down below. You guys go follow them. They really are just good, wholesome people and they have really good content. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of the homesteading conference it is currently 42 degrees outside the southerner was uh, not quite prepared i would say um but it is supposed to warm up to like 50 today so that's nice um 
But Jess and I are getting ready. We're gonna go grab some coffee, <laughs> priorities. And then we're gonna head to the festival. I am excited today though, because Natalie, um, our really good friend over at Hey It's A Good Life, I know you know her. Um, she's gonna be speaking today as to why every family needs a worm farm. Um, and I am actually gonna do my dangdest to make it to that. Um, so I got to meet with some people yesterday. Whenever you come to conferences like this, it's actually really hard to vlog. Um, so I am hoping to maybe get to talk to a few more people. Um, but yeah, let's head day two to the conference. All right, day two, how you feeling? Um, I'm good. I, <laughs> I, I think I, I looked at my Apple Watch this morning. It said I stood for 15 hours yesterday. Maybe you'll have to stay in for 15 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. Probably. <laughs> I'll sit a lot tomorrow while I'm traveling home. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's connection. It's just like, yeah. You just have to keep going down the road. What's up, everybody? I am here with Design, Build, Live. Will you guys just tell them a little bit about what you do, where you're from? Um, they are so sweet. We met you last year here, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I wanted to meet Justin Rose. Yes, I remember that now. Anyway, so yeah, tell them who you are and where they can find you. Well, we, um, we are Design, Build. Design, Build firm in Cape and Springs, West Virginia. And we got onto YouTube to do a little bit of um, Everything. A little bit of everything, everything. and finding out <laughs> that's, our life. that's a little yeah. uh, spread a little too thin. Yeah. So we're doing design how to how to design and build. Yeah. Uh, kind of a lot of build channels out there, but because we specialize in the design as well, yeah. so we're showing actually step by step through the design and building. So, so right now we're building um, an office guest yeah. house yeah. on our property, and Jake is a professional builder, but he's teaching myself and our daughter to be the ones to build it. So you actually get to watch them build. Yeah. Very cool. So you're clearly the design part. Yes. What all are you designing? Um, a lot of homes, uh, second residences, cabins, Airbnb. Right now, a lot of Airbnb yeah. cabins. Where we're at in West Virginia, uh, that's probably half of our clients are wanting to design and build custom, small custom, custom cabins for Airbnb. Out of DC area. Yeah. Or second homes, yeah. but uh, the, the small cabin thing is really, uh, yeah. and it's a niche that we enjoy. Yeah. Everyone's a little different. Unique, so very um, cool. Smart. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put their link down below. You guys go check them out. Thank you. Good morning everyone. It is 4.30 in the morning here and 34 degrees. <laughs> um, so Jess and I are about to head to the airport and head back home. Um, gosh, I have so much perspective and so many things I want to talk to you guys about. So I can't wait to head home. Hug my family's neck and just sit down and have a good conversation with you guys. <laughs> Hello. Give me lovings. Oh, hey, Junie B. I wasn't spring Uh-oh, sorry. Hey, babe. Hi. <laughs> Oh my god, I missed you. <laughs> Love you. Yesterday was such a full day of travel that the thought of coming home and turning on my camera seemed like just too much. Um, so I'm actually just sitting outside enjoying my coffee, listening to the birds. Do you hear how lovely they are this morning? I got to take a walk through the garden. Um, when I got home, Nathan had actually made me dinner and Charlie had set up 
um, dinner underneath the pavilion for me. So we got to come outside, eat dinner under the pavilion. It was so sweet. But I do want to wrap up this vlog and you know, I thought about it a lot. Um, and I, I got quite a bit of footage throughout this, you know, my trip to HOA. And I was gonna interview people and I was gonna do all these things, right? And then I was like, you know what? I am not going to make just another HOA video. You know, there will be some parts of this video where you see what's going on and you see my travel, but I honestly thought sharing with you guys what I got from HOA would be more valuable than just walking around with a camera showing all the craziness and the busyness of what was there. Um, especially for those of you who weren't able to make it. And so I'm gonna do a different take on this. This is what I came home learning from HOA this weekend. And it's always so funny to me, like how the Lord speaks to me, you know, like it's very rarely like what I'm sitting down in his word, deliberately asking. It's usually in like the ways I could have never imagined. Um, and it was a great weekend. It was so busy. I'm pooped to be honest with you. I'm just like so tired, but there was one talk I got to go to for like the duration of the talk. And I went and listened to Justin Rhodes. It was the first time I'd ever heard him speak. Um, and it was so good and it was so funny. I have been growing food for over a decade, you guys. I grew up, you know, growing food. Um, ever since Nathan and I have been married, we've had animals. So we've been married eight years and we had, you know, chickens. And then as we've continued to buy more land, we've gained more animals. We had rabbits at our last house. Now we've got gosh we have chickens we have goats we have pigs we've got the dogs we've got the gardens like we've got our little homestead here and sometimes i think you get to a place where you get so used to doing what you do every day that you forget how long you longed for what you have and so this weekend i just came back feeling so inspired to not take for granted what what i have um, which is why I'm sitting in the garden this morning <laughs> drinking my cup of coffee literally just watching a bird demolish my squash that I have not ripped off the trellis but sometimes I think we need those moments where we remember I don't even know that it's remembering so much I think we all need those moments at some point in our journey of becoming sustainable or homesteaders or gardeners or farmers or whatever it is that resonates with you we all need those moments where we feel re-inspired again when we feel like we remember not really what we're called to because I always remember what I'm called to but sometimes I think I forget to enjoy the process of being called and you get something that you've wanted and you celebrate that and you revel in it and like for me I never take for granted what I have but sometimes I can get uninspired by my daily life which is actually a dream so while it was amazing getting to hug so many necks, meeting so many people, I love coming to conferences and events like this because it reminds me that what we're doing has impact and that we need to keep doing it. But I came back home so inspired to not take for granted collecting eggs in the chicken coop and realizing that going out and feeding my goats every day is something I diligently prayed for for years and years. And I came home with a new perspective to just be madly in love with this really simple life that we have. And that was such a new, fresh perspective. And I know it sounds simple. I understand that what I'm saying is like, Jill, really like this is what you got out of it. But I think it was in a season of my life where I'm striving so hard to be creative, right? Um, when you're a content creator, when you're a business owner, especially in the world that, that I'm in, it's like, well, if you're not creating new things, you're not keeping people inspired, you're not keeping people captivated, you're, you know, for me, it's just, if I'm just having a moment of being raw and vulnerable, like these are things I struggle with and I was feeling very uninspired and just wondering what is wrong with me. Why can I not create? I have this beautiful life. What is stopping me from being creative? Um, 
And after talking to many of my friends this weekend, I realized that this is such a normal thing for any business owner um, and content creator to ask themselves. These are normal conversations. So if you have these conversations with yourself, no, you're not alone. But I gained this perspective of I'm not having to think of new ideas to be creative. I'm not having to come up with like this thing to feel inspired. I can literally walk out my door, collect my eggs, harvest my carrots, you know, pick kale for dinner and like that, it, that's inspiring. That is something that can just awestruck someone. That is something that there's so much beauty in its simplicity that it should be highlighted and shined a bit more. And gaining that perspective was such a beautiful, beautiful thing for me to experience this weekend. So I will still do probably a recap with Nathan. He wants to know all the things that happened. Give you guys my highlights, but just to wrap this video up of my travels, some of the people I saw and what I gained most from that experience. Here you have this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'm about to go feed all my animals and really just soak it in a little bit more this morning than I think I have in the past. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you soon.